Hey, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the setup I'm in today is kind of different. I wasn't a huge fan of the audio quality in my previous videos, so I thought I would get the mic as close as possible. It doesn't really matter if it's in the frame or not, because it's just a talking head, and I think the audio is more important than the actual framing, if that makes sense. Uh, I hope it's not too distracting. So in today's video, I want to talk about a switch I made recently when editing Blackmagic footage. As you may know, I'm a Blackmagic user. I, I love Blackmagic design as a company. I think their products are always innovative. And I still think that the Blackmagic 6K, uh, 4K and 6K Pro now are probably the best bang for your buck when it comes to cinema cameras. The one thing I like the most about Blackmagic cameras is their codec, B-RAW. If you're not familiar with what RAW means, essentially the camera records a lot of metadata that you can change and tweak in post-production. That means that you can essentially adjust your white balance, exposure, contrast, like a lot of different settings, white level, saturation, black levels and whatnot in post. So that means that if you, do, if you don't nail, for instance, white balance, like while you're shooting for some reasons, then you can always save the footage in post. The only downside with B-Raw is that it's not natively supported by Premiere Pro. That means that if you buy a Pocket 6K, for instance, and then you buy Premiere and you're all excited and you want to edit B-Raw right out of the gate, you won't be able to. So in order for you to edit B-Raw on Premiere, you need to install a plugin. And for that, you have two options. The first one is a plugin made by Blackmagic Design. It's called Blackmagic RAW, and what it does, it essentially allows you to uh, preview B-RAW files on a computer, but also edit it in Premiere. So the cool thing about that plugin is that it's free of charge. So you can download it and like, on how many computers you need, and uh, you don't need like a license or whatever to run it. I'd say that this plugin works pretty well, like most of the time, but I started to encounter a lot more issues with it where the raw panel would be just like all grayed out and I wouldn't be able to change and, you know, tweak the settings I told you about earlier. And this is basically why you shoot raw in the first place. So that's a big, that's a big issue. It wasn't too annoying at first because I would just have to restart Premiere and like the bug would just go away magically. But um, I think a couple couple of months ago, maybe a little more than that, it started to happen a lot more often to the point where it would hinder my workflow and my ability to deliver in time to the client. So that's when I decided to go with the second option and I went and bought the plugin called B-RAW Studio made by a company called Autochroma. The only annoying thing of that plugin compared to the Blackmagic Design one is that you have to pay for it. I think it, it costed me like, like six, 70 bucks or something, like Swiss francs, so dollars, I don't know how much it is, probably like $60 or something like that. This money is money well spent. I've never had any issues with B-Roll ever since I installed it. It just works. And I think that's what you expect from a plugin. It needs to work. As soon as you start preventing you from doing your work, you have to like find another solution for that. So yeah, shout out to Autochroma to actually come up with like a really good product, not too expensive. Like I know it's 70 bucks and like, especially these times, like 70 bucks is 70 bucks. Um, but still, I think it allows you to work and not think about the plugin. Cause I think as soon as the plugin becomes like something you have to think about and worry about, then you have to find another solution. So that was my um, problem with uh, Blackmagic RAW. Uh, but now it's fixed. I'm really happy with that. So hopefully this video helps you out if you ever encounter that dreaded gray panel in Premiere. And uh, please let me know in the comments down below if you like that new setup, if the audio is better somehow than my previous videos. And if you want to ask me anything or if you want me to talk about like any topic or like if you have any questions, please, please, please let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe. It always helps. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.